Hey guys, it's Aaron over BHA here bringing you a new product review video. So of course the great folks over at Zimmy Smart have sent me some more gear to test out and to review for you guys. This is the Zimmy Smart Wi-Fi Smart Desk Lamp. Uh, it's about $38, uh, looks like $38.25 on Zimmy Smart's website. As you can see here, it's a pretty cool looking uh, little desk lamp. It's got the adjustable arm that you can kind of move it however you want. It's an LED lamp, of course, uh, so it's not going to be using a lot of power. It even has a USB port on the back of it for you to plug in a charger for your phone. And as you can see, you can do color temperature from like warm white to cool white, as well as brightness. Uh, so it's dimmable as well. So pretty cool little lamp. Uh, we're going to check this thing out and see what all we can do with it. All right, so uh, if you didn't want to purchase it on Zimmy Smart's website, you can get it from Amazon. It's a little bit more on Amazon. Looks like it's about forty-three dollars on Amazon. Uh, overall, I'd probably get it. Uh, <clears throat> overall, you might get it quicker. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't ordered anything necessarily straight from Zimmy Smart, so I don't know. It's also available on AliExpress, and I'll have the links for all these different uh, places to order it in the uh, description below. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course for starters we'll do our usual unboxing of the device. Uh, once we do that we're going to do something a little different this time. We're actually going to go ahead and connect it to the Tuya app and show you how it works uh, with uh, setting it up on the Tuya app in case that's all you want to do with it and you're happy with, uh, with utilizing that then we're going to show you how to do that. Once we do that, of course, now comes the fun part. We are going to, of course, attempt to flash it with Tasmoda custom firmware. Uh, you know me, I like to flash all of my Zimmy Smart devices, uh, get them off of that Tuya cloud and uh, local in my house and just control them from Home Assistant. Once we attempt to flash it, assuming that we can get it flashed, we're gonna configure it with Tasmoda. Once that's done, we'll add it into Home Assistant and lastly, we'll kind of show you what that looks like in action. Let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, it kind of comes in. It's basically just a plain box. There is nothing, no label on it or anything. Uh, kind of surprising on that. Let's open it up here. Not a lot to it. I don't even see any instructions in here. It's literally uh, just the lamp and a power supply uh, so not a lot to it uh, figured it would at least have instructions on how to uh, add it to the two app but i do not see anything <laughs> no worries we pretty much already know how to do all that uh, so we'll go ahead and still do the walkthrough and everything yeah power supply and lamp that's what you get all right let's plug this thing in and just uh see how it works But it's got the little touch controls there uh, for multiple speeds from low all the way to high. It looks like low, low, medium, uh, medium, medium, high, and high. It's pretty bright. I'm not sure how well you can see that on the, uh, on the video itself. There's the USB port on the back. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so we're going to attempt to get this thing added into the uh, Tuya Smart Life app. So in the app here, we'll click on Add Manually. We're going to look for the lighting. So uh, let's see, lighting Wi-Fi. Of course, out of the box, it should come uh, able to already be in flashing mode, ready to add. Uh, so you shouldn't have to do anything there. Put in my Wi-Fi SSID and password here. And let it go through the connection process. So it'll take it just a second. Looks like it got added. We can go ahead and change the name if we want. Uh, for right now, we're just going to leave it as is. I don't need to make any changes. 
go ahead and hit done. All right, there is our lamp. Okay, let's get both of them in here so we can see how this thing is gonna work. So in the corner there, I got the uh, app. We have the lamp currently turned on. Let's kind of play around with the settings a little bit here. So there we went from uh, warm white to cool white. Of course, you can turn it on and off. And then we'll change the brightness as well. Not sure what all you can see uh, easily uh, on the light itself with it shining basically right at the camera, but you get the idea. Uh, full functionality from the Tuya app seems to work pretty well, and uh, it was very simple to set that up. And if you're happy with having it uh, be a part of the Tuya cloud, then of course you can just add it uh, to Home Assistant that way if you want, uh, using the Tuya component in Home Assistant. If not, then continue on this video and we're going to see if we can't get this thing flashed with Tesmoda firmware. All right, so of course, uh, if you have it already added into the TU app, we'll have to remove it, which we did. Um, and there's also on the back, this is where you determine uh, if it's in flashing mode, which of course it needs to be for us to be able to flash it with Tasmoda firmware. As you can see, the light is on the back. Right next to it is like a, a little reset hole. So if you can't get it in flashing mode, you can stick a little pin in there and it will actually uh, reset it for you and put it in flashing mode. All right, so we're on our uh, console here. We have connected to uh, our Raspberry Pi running Tuya Convert. Kind of run through the process as we normally do here. Follow all the steps, uh, turn on our phone so that it is uh, connected to the uh, VTrust as Flash. And boom, it has uh, started flashing. Everything looks good. Go ahead and select this last little bit here and paste it. All right, so our uh, lamp should be restarting with the new uh, test mode firmware. All right, so I have mine updated to the latest version, actually the latest development version of uh, Tasmoda, which is 8.1.0.4. You don't necessarily have to do that. Um, I was trying out some different stuff and I'll go into details of that here in a minute. Uh, nonetheless, once you get it added to your home Wi-Fi network, then you can go into configuration. For the module type, we're gonna say Tuya MCU because that's what it uses to uh, control uh, the lamp. A lot of the Zimmy Smart products seem to use a Tuya MCU, so it's pretty common. Uh, we should be able to use the default settings for that. We're just going to go ahead and hit save. Give that a second to reboot. All right, so as you can see, it came up with the on and off. There's not a dimmer or slider yet uh, to control the brightness or, or anything like that. We'll go uh, just double check and see, uh, looks like by default, the GPIO 1 and 3 are what it uses for TX and RX, which should work for this lamp, so we shouldn't need to make any changes there. Now in the console, we'll go ahead and set web log to 4, just so we can uh, see all the logs, get more of a uh, debug mode uh, going there in the logs. Then we need to do Tuya MCU 21, because that's uh, the function ID for a dimmer, comma, three. All right, so now we have a slider. Now this slider controls the brightness. As you can see though, the downside is currently there's only one slider. Unfortunately, with Tasmoda, right now, we can only control either the brightness with the slider or the color temperature. We can't do both on the same Tuya MCU currently. So that's not necessarily a deal breaker for me. All the functionality still works locally on the lamp, so I can change the color temperature on the lamp if I want uh, locally. Um, so as long as I have the ability to turn it on and off and set the brightness, I'm somewhat happy with that.
One more thing we have to do for the brightness to work correctly is let's go back to the console and set the dimmer range. Now I've already played around with this a little bit, so I already know the dimmer range for this lamp is from 0 to 255 is the max. So we'll do a dimmer range 0, 255 here. Now we should have full functionality in our lamp. The only other thing we need to do is just go through our regular configuration, make sure our MQTT settings are here. Go ahead and add everything in here. The uh, lamp is in my daughter's room, kind of desk lamp for her to do her homework and such. All right, we'll give that a second to reboot, uh, and then we can move on to the next step. All right, so we are going to add it into Home Assistant. Now in the past, we could have done this manually. And if you want, I can put that in the description. Uh, for me, since I started using uh, the auto discovery feature with the MQTT integration on in Home Assistant, of course, we already know it makes adding these devices into Home Assistant super easy. We'll just do a set option 19.1, and basically it automatically gets added into Home Assistant without any additional setup. So pretty awesome, I like that. We'll jump over to Home Assistant here, check out the integrations tab, go down to MQTT, and as you can see, right at the top is Ali's lamp. That's the one we just added, and it's already in here, light, Ali's lamp, we'll click on it, and the brightness uh, slider is down there at the bottom. Of course, we can turn it on and off, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and move on to that last step. All right, so I got my lamp here on the main screen. We got the little uh, home assistant card here as well. And let's kind of play around with uh, what all we're gonna do here. All right, so the lamp is turned on here. It's at full brightness. Go ahead and turn it off. And as you can see, it goes off almost immediately. Turn it back on here. We'll set the brightness to half. And as you can see, it updates the LEDs on the little touch panel down there as well. We'll go a little bit lower. We'll uh, do like a fourth of the way maybe. Yeah, updated there on the uh, touch pad there as well. See if we can't go a little bit more. Now it's all the way down. It's kind of like a night light pretty much. It's uh, the lowest that I think it'll go at least from the buttons itself. But you have full functionality, at least for the brightness in Home Assistant. Pretty cool. Let me turn that thing all the way up. Again, we don't have the ability to currently control the color temperature from Home Assistant uh, as it stands right now, just because uh, we have chosen to do the uh, brightness instead. Now, I will tell you this. If you want to control the color temperature instead of the brightness, from the Tasmoda console, you can do a Tuya MCU 21,4, and that will allow you to use that slider bar to change the color temperature instead of the brightness. That's totally up to you. Which one you want to do? I chose brightness. I felt like that was uh, the direction I wanted to go, but you certainly have the ability to do one or the other currently. Also, as you can see here, and I'll have this link in the description below, I have created a feature request on Tasmoda's GitHub page to allow us to have a second dimmer slider uh, on the same 2U MCU. We'll see how it goes. If you want to follow along with, the, uh, with that uh, request, uh, it is out there, and here is the link and everything for that. So feel free to stay on top of that. And then maybe once... Uh, Maybe uh, if that gets added, as we hope it does, then maybe we'll do a follow-up video to show you how you uh, can uh, get the functionality of the entire uh, lamp in Tasmoda and Home Assistant. Nonetheless, uh, let's do a quick run-through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, for starters, we unboxed the device. Uh, once we did that, then we went ahead and connected it to the 2YAB just to show you how easy it was to do that and how it functioned uh, pretty easily with that Tuya Smart Life app. Once that was done, then of course we attempted to flash it with Tasmoda firmware. Once it was flashed, we configured it in Tasmoda. After that, we added it into Home Assistant. And lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. 
that's the end of the video, guys. Um, the Zimmy Smart Wi-Fi Smart Desk Lamp. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty nice little desk lamp. I love uh, all the different features that you have as far as the color, temperature, and the brightness ability and everything. Uh, I hate that we can't do it all in Tasmoda just yet, but I have a feeling that this is uh, something that's going to become more and more prevalent. So hopefully this will be a feature that will be functional not only for this lamp, but for future uh, smart devices that uh, may have these uh, these types of abilities. So again, uh, if you don't like the Zimmy Smart Dusk Lamp, they have tons of other smart products. Uh, I guarantee you will find something that you like. A lot of their stuff is available on Amazon and AliExpress as well. So uh, definitely uh, check out uh, everything they have for sale there. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. Definitely let me know because I'm trying to get a new list together for this year, 2020. I've gotten like three or four requests already. I need more. I need more. I try to do four videos a month if I can get them out there. And so I need more requests. Send these to me, please. But I will definitely see what I can do about putting those out there for you. Thanks a lot, guys.